Hola chicos, ¿cómo están? El día de hoy acá en Chago Line, chicos, vamos a continuar con Vampire y vamos a ver qué mierda pasa acá. Estos tipos no hablan, fíjense, no dominan no nada. Están ahí nomás, son vampiros y no. I know we're facing a crisis. But I'm shocked no one took the time to clean up the mess inside the club since we were attacked. That went well, did it not? I must admit the guard of It is always useful to bolster the troops' morale. Especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago. Well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Sparrow. I'm listening, my lord. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic. And your findings were quite alarming. Do you know Edgar Swansea? Not personally, but I've been told he has some sort of immortal fetish and is a good friend of yours. Does it bother you that I consider him my good friend? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's inner workings, why should I forbid you engaging in conversation with the good Dr. Swansea? You are spying on me? Not personally. I rarely leave this building. But once he found you, Fergal kept me informed until you put an end to his mission. Who was Fergal? I don't see him sipping tea with the others in the club. Fergal Banshaw was my squire of sorts. Even before becoming that magnificent beast, he was a brute. He served me well for decades. No, I mean, what was he? He was clearly no ordinary vampire. No, he was a Volkod. All muscles and instinct. Quite the rare breed. Ferociously territorial. Mortals often mistake them for werewolves. You do know I killed him? Yes. Will you bear ill will towards me for his death? Of course not. Your victory was quite impressive and courageous. You earned my respect. <laughs> Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the skulls. Skulls are hostile vectors of contagion, that is a fact. But first and foremost, they are victims. I agree, Dr. Reed. Most of the new skulls who roam the streets at night used to be good British citizens. But they must be put down nevertheless. So. What do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. How is your investigation? I have a few. All right, but be quick. You made me swear on the blood of William Marshall during my initiation ceremony. Why was that? William Marshall was the most glorious knight who ever lived. He served five kings and was a living example of probity for all. And he was my maker. William Marshall was a vampire. Is this some sort of joke? Wait. Could he be my maker? That would be joyful news. For it would mean he still walks among us. But alas, the great knight has left this world for good. Why is his blood so sacred to the Ascalon Club? He was simply the greatest defender of the realm we have ever known. I fought by his side at the Battle of Preston, and he made me his progeny following the fight. 
What can you tell me about the Great Hunt? It's a major concern. And I'm convinced we'll only get a satisfactory conclusion by putting an end to the epidemic. I have already met Geoffrey McCullum. I am certain he will persist until he has killed every last vampire. The Guard's current successful recruitment campaign is driven by the ravenous behavior of the Skulls. I see. So without the epidemic creating Skulls, the Guard could not convince anybody of our presence. Exactly. Once we have put the epidemic behind us, we need only wait until the Guard grows old and weak. Time will once again become our ally. What about the risk of a full-scale attack here? Geoffrey McCullum is a daring leader. That is exactly why so many of our number have left the country until things improve. But not me. I founded this club. I'll die defending it. May I ask you about the mortal who attended my initiation? Mr. Aloysius Dawson. A member of the club does not normally ask questions about other members. We trust each other mutually. So he really is a member then? Indeed. Only the most eminent members are allowed to attend such ceremonies. Even if I admit some of us fled during the first hours of the Great Hunt. But Mr. Dawson is mortal. Are you not afraid he might reveal who you are? Especially to your enemies. Aloysius Dawson is a man of his word, as are all of us. This is the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. We do not grant access to the unworthy. Goodbye, Lord Redgrave. Godspeed, Dr. Reed. We are counting on you. the guard of Prewen impress me. They must have spent years preparing their plan. Tengo que preguntar a los locales. Ahora yo creo que aquí, en la otra parte de allá, hay más gente. Estoy seguro, ¿no? O sea, no sé si 100%. Welcome to the Ascalon Club. No sé si 100%, pero. Puta, por lo menos una parte. O sea, me parece que. El club de Ascalon solo tiene cuatro, cuatro miembros, bueno, no tiene muchos miembros, son pocos miembros los que hay, o sea, o cinco miembros, no sé. Y para ser tan poderosos, o sea, supuestamente son los más poderosos de todos, es como un poco bizarro en realidad. Eh. Ahora, el, el señor, digámoslo así, no tiene mucha expectativa de nada, bueno, él es el rey de la ciudad, pero. Si le llevo al hecho, ¿con qué importancia podría tener ese señor acá? Creo que Lord hacer... Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Good evening. And good... I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullanies, a nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. Goodbye, Charlotte. She's been... Ahí. No, ¿qué me dice? Good eat. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand. Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. Goodbye, Mr. Yeah, we have another one. Yeah, there are many. Many mierda. Let's see here. 
Well, I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Can you help me? Infection is everywhere these days. But if you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging to the Malanies. Yes? What about the Malanies? What about their house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. Not enough movement. Closed doors. What is going on in there? I wonder. You need some rep. A veces la misma casa que mi hija, o sea, los milenios son. Los milenios son estos que están acá, o sea. I'm sure Kaloon Russell has no interest in such a conventional menu. Why are vampire hunters sniffing around here? I need to find out what they're after. Fuck! You don't need something? Cuando entro, cuando entro ya no pasa nada. No pueden hacer daño. Claro. Son nivel 29, o sea, no, no son niveles bajos. Son niveles altos. Que me, tomo, que me tomo un... un Supuestamente la entrada debería estar acá, o sea. Esta es la primera casa que me nombraron.
y sangre por todos lados. O sea, parece que esta casa es la primera fuente. He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the son. your family. They mocked my talent! Ah! <sighs> <sighs> stage in the disease's evolution? So, this girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. que soy nivel 22 me halaga o ahí está tan fuerte Yes. 
is despicable. I have this thirst for blood. This is despicable. I can't believe I'm doing this. I have this thirst for blood. This is despicable. Es necesario, o sea, no lo... Ahora lo que me impresiona es que dónde está el resto de la gente, güey. Estoy acá, bueno, no he entrado al parque, porque el parque es este, pero... Dudo que haya gente dentro de este parque. ¿no? Ahí hay un buen nombre lobo. Si realmente aquí no va a haber nadie, güey. Pensé que tal vez no. Pensé, no sé por qué pensé que tal vez sí, pero no. Por lo que me doy cuenta, no. No sé, no sé dónde está escondida la gente, la verdad. Ahora igual siento que 10.000 de experiencia es poco. Good evening. Goodbye, Sean. She's been quiet. Se puede entrar a la casa por la parte de abajo. La única forma de entrar es por arriba. ¿no?
That building is under quarantine. Could this be what I'm looking for? cincuenta y dos weón pega poco lo tira como broma pero pega muchísimo weón trescientos cincuenta y dos es muchísimo no, por eso yo me pregunté siempre dije la escopeta será fuerte en algún momento o sea la arma que se en la escuela en algún momento lo pregunté así fue como que Parece que sí. Ok. Y son dos. So the husband had an affair with Doris Fletcher. La verdad debería pero como que meterme más en este pueblo con ella. Ahí. 
Así que nada chicos, se pasa rapidísimo el tiempo, la verdad, en este juego. Eh, ya saben, suscríbanse, chicos, dejen like, comenten otro video, compartan el canal y ya, bueno, nos veo en un próximo episodio de Vampire. Todavía falta mucho, así que vamos a seguir acá hasta acabarlo. Cuídense.